So, um, last time, so, this week, we were in 10, so, I've shown you how to um, keep the positions, control 1, 2, 3, and 4, we've shown you how to escape the positions from all the control 1, 2, 3, and 4. So now we're adding in the attacks, and we'll do a quick recap on last time. So, from this control 1, was I, my elbow, controlling the head and this one is controlling the hip. I think this is the best control method, especially if I'm against someone who's trying to put you in the guard. Again, my, my butt is up in the ear, I'm driving down, putting a lot of pressure on the body. This detail of the elbow and the ear, because um, if it's out here, he can move his head. If he move, can move his head, he can get to his knees and possibly put me back in the guard. So that elbow has to be tight. And I'm driving in fully, putting a lot of pressure on him. Look at the escape so you know how to close him down. I would go to this position and he's very good at uh, shrimping out and putting him back in the door. Yeah. So he has to get past this arm. So we, it's the same thing, this is the four play system. Uh, we did north, south, and the darts last week, but they're all, I go through the whole sequence. His, his movement dictates where I go to, so we're going to get the arm and guillotine. So from here, the first submission I'm going for is the, the, the north south that we looked at last time. So from there getting the, the head underneath, especially if he keeps his head flat to the mouth, I just use this edge. So I just bring it all the way out and I just scoop it underneath. Then I move my bicep back to get it tight to this jugular. Okay. Again, we looked at if his head's pointing up or his head's pointing away from me, I can go straight into the north south and just finish that. Um, problem lies when he when his um, head's looking at me. In other words, um, Maddie's putting his chin on his right shoulder. So he's turned it, okay, and he's tucked that chin. I, feel, I can feel now, I don't have the bite, I haven't got the connection I need to get my um, shoulder and his throat. So from that position, the tip last time was just the other. I mean, try to escape, bro. Yeah. And at some stage, he has to move his head, and my lap just finds that space. Back, down, 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 putting a lot of pressure. Legs wide, knees down, so this bridge. From there, oh, we looked at um, a better escape is he does put his chin on the shoulder, but he doesn't stay there, he turns on to the side. The second he turns on to the side, there's no more south. I have to abandon it. So then we, we transition to the next move, which was the darts. So I come underneath, I got a bolt cutter grip. I use my forearm to get a bend in his neck and then I need to make sure this underhook comes between my legs because it's hard, I don't have long arms. Sometimes you can get a connection from there, so I just step over, it goes one way, keep the bend and then from there I don't release or his head goes straight. I find the bicep, I just bring this down and keep that pressure, bring my shoulder over his shoulder and then I just wait here. But why go on your side and you can get to your knees? Let's just say I'm here and I'm looking for the stars, but um, Matty doesn't just turn on this side, he comes all the way to his knees. That's what he wants to do there, okay? So, if that's the case, we're gonna transition to the arm and get okay, It's just another route to get down. Um, and I'll give you a few tips on how not to get him to pass your guard when he's doing it. So, so I can control one here. I set it up the same way, I'm going for the north side. So elbow tight, spring it out and you scoop it under, you get the bicep tight, I'm looking to get hand to hand, he already though, has done his defense, he's turned his head. Now he's starting to turn onto his side and I'm looking for the dash freeze up. Okay. Now from here, a split second, all right, will get him to his knees. So I need to be aware that he's making the transition to his knees. And already I'm already in that position. The darse is here, but also the arm and guillotines there, you know, they're just like you know, two sides of a swing. The problem is, um, when I transition from the, the dars and I bring my left hand into the throat, if I wait until he comes to make his knees, just come to your knees, he's already bypassing that leg. Although I get, use your hand, yeah, come around, and then I end up and slip out, and I'm here now, just stay on my bro. So, stick your dars on. Just one there. Turn in and he has the doors. Okay. And the second I switch and I turn the gear. Okay. And as I'm coming to my knees, and um, Maddie's already switching to the arm and guillotine. Yeah. And from there, 
leg up to this side, and then they can plane to the throat or shoulder. So the detail of not letting them uh, bypass your guard is I don't wait until he comes to his knees. I turn my hip and I wait. Okay? He will go to his knees. So we're here, looking for that dart. I feel he's about to go to his knees. And I so I just switch that grip so the way my right hand's here. This one's just coming in and I get my left part of my wrist and the right hand's made the grip in the throat. So as he's coming to his knees, go to your knees, right here. Keep going. So there's my position there, okay? So let's look at our leg position, okay? So from here, just in your knees. If I have the guillotine, or the arm of the guillotine, um, there's two ways Maddie can get out of it. He can run away, run around this side, yep. take it back a step. So my left foot comes in his left hip and I've made up a, a wall with my shin. So now he tries to run around. The other thing he can do is he can roll over his right shoulder. And then he'll turn to face me. Just right. Yeah, nice. So my other leg comes over his back. Yeah. Stops the roll. So let's take it from one again. Here, set it up with the north side, turns on to the side for the dark speed, he's going to his knees, I just swim that underneath. So if it just seesaw it under. I'm not waiting till he gets to his knees. Alright, I'm already turning my hip and as he goes to his knees, yeah, oh, there's my position. Okay. This detail of my foot, it digs in right in here. Because if he does, he's strong and he's rolled to slither, is the next move, which is the mind of guillotine. So let's look at how to finish this guys. Okay, I have my left arm. Um, wrist and his throat, okay? So from here, my left elbow is going down, and my right is pushing up in in the arm and guillotine version. So it's made a shelf, see that's made a shelf? That's pushing this up, this way. And my goal is, I'm driving with my um, armpit into the back of his head. I want to make his chin touch his chest. So it's just that, okay? It's like kinking a hose. How do we stop the water in a hose? You can kink it like this, or you can squeeze it. The, arm, the guillotine is to squeeze, the arm and guillotine is a kink. So I want to make sure, just roll your knees. And when I finish that, I want to make sure I get his uh, chin on his chest as I'm shelving this in. Okay, so let's do that one more time. So from one, set up the same. Okay, I scoop this under. If he doesn't do the defense, I'm finishing with the north side, using my left to turn him. If he does do the defense, he turns on to the side and looking for the darts, but now he's thinking about coming to his knees. And I feel he's turning to his knees. This just swims in. I'm turning onto my hip, and as he comes to his knees, I'm in my position. Okay? That foot is cut off, so he can't run this way. Okay? This one comes over, so he can't roll. My goal is to make his chin touch his chest as I push up with the supporting hand. So this elbow's dropping down. This one's coming down, and I'm just like kinking the hose and bringing this all the way in. Okay? So, let's play with that, guys, yeah? <clears throat> 